Hi everybody, David Harper here. Before I get started, please no complaints about whatever I do in this video. If I want to damage something of my own for demonstration purposes here on my YouTube channel, then, you know, I'm allowed to do it. And remember, if you follow anything that I show you and it all goes disastrously wrong for you, I'm really sorry, but it's not my responsibility, right? So let's get that out of the way and here we go. Tortoiseshell, is it real, is it fake, is it legal, or crucially, is it illegal? Well, I'm going to answer all of those questions very simply for you and show you how you can test at home whether something is, first of all, real tortoiseshell. So I'm going to show you two pieces I've got at home. One, I can absolutely guarantee you, and I will prove to you in a minute, that this is a real, genuine, antique tortoiseshell box. It's worth around £100 and it dates to around 1800, 1810, so 200 years old. On little ivory feet, lift up lid. A sweet little thing, a proper antique, definitely tortoiseshell. I'll show you how you know that in a second. But I need to use an example of something that is not tortoiseshell. 99.9% .9 of tortoiseshell glasses you will see will be faux tortoiseshell. They're going to be plastic, but I'm just going to use them to show you how you can tell if you have something at home that looks like tortoiseshell is real. So you might have a box, uh, you might have a comb or some inlay on furniture. It could be plastic, it could be tortoiseshell. You can see there's a candle here, so we need flame, heat, and we need a pin or a needle. So listen, I'm going to relinquish all responsibility for you harming yourself or blowing your house up here. I've done this a lot of times. You can do it, but please be careful, right? So first of all, we're going to take the pin. We're going to heat it up in the flame. And I'm going to show you what happens to real tortoiseshell when you pin prick it with a boiling hot pin. Now remember, choose an area on your tortoiseshell that, you know, is hidden not right on top of the box because you're going to cause some damage. Minuscule damage if it's real tortoiseshell, a lot of damage potentially if it's fake. So get it nice and red hot. And I'm going to explain to you what we're going to see if it's real tortoiseshell, first of all. So it will make a pinprick, there's no doubt about it. It will absolutely affect the tortoiseshell, but it will make a black jet black pinprick and it won't you know, slip, slip in like butter. It won't, like a hot knife with butter, it won't do that. You'll have to put a little bit of pressure on, but you will absolutely get a pinprick. And you may even get a smell of burning hair, right? So take this corner, push the hot pin in. It makes a black mark a tiny black mark. If you used a much bigger needle, for an example, you'd cause a little black crater, but you don't get any puff of smoke and you may get a little tiny essence of a smell of burning hair. So that's real tortoiseshell. You haven't done any great damage. Now talking of damage, if you want to do some damage, test faux tortoiseshell with the needle. So what's going to happen here? You're going to cause a mini explosion. So remember, choose an area where you're not bothered if you cause some damage. So it'll be a puff of smoke. You, it will go in like, you know, a hot needle through butter. And it may even cause like a stringiness, like a cheese string in the plastic. So get ready for this. Don't burn your fingers. Yowza. Straight in and a puff of smoke. Certain damage. And the smell is that of burning plastic. So that's first of all how you tell whether you've got real tortoiseshell or not. But what about the law? Is it legal to own it? Is it legal to buy it? And is it legal to sell tortoiseshell? 
Right, well, first of all, let's get something straight. This we know is real, it's genuine, but it's not tortoise shell. It's not tortoise shell, it's sea turtle shell. Why it's called tortoise shell, I don't quite know. There's a very big difference between a small sort of tortoise that you might have as a pet and a great big sea turtle. That material comes from a sea turtle and it is absolutely illegal to harvest and use sea turtle on modern things. Antique things like this are perfectly fine, but they have to have been made pre-1947, very much like the ivory laws. You might have seen a couple of videos I've made now on ivory. So as long as you can categorically prove, and I'll get to that, that something was made before 1947 out of tortoiseshell, then it's fine to sell turtle shell, but let's just keep calling it tortoise shell. And, and on the subject of the shells, in actual fact, if you have a very old turtle shell or tortoise shell that granddad brought back from somewhere in 1920, that's still illegal. The rules here and the laws are quite complicated, but you've got to follow them very well and accurately because you could be in all sorts of trouble. Big fines here, so illegal. It's unbelievable. So, remember a piece must be worked. It can't just be an old sea turtle shell. It had to have been made into something and it had to have been made into that thing before 1947. You can't make it now. Oh, it, oh it's all mind boggling. So you've got to be absolutely sure that it's an antique piece. How do you know? Well, someone like me who's been doing this forever will know instinctively because of shape and size and condition and colour and all of those things. But you know, you must make sure that you buy from a proper bona fide antiques dealer um, or an auction room. If you've already got something at home and you're not sure how old it is, then take it to somebody to get them to verify it. Don't try and sell it, because if you sell something that is illegal, you are in all sorts of trouble. Talking of all sorts of trouble, if you go to parts of South America and the Far East, you will still be able to buy brand new products made out of tortoiseshell, turtle shell. This is completely illegal. So don't go on holiday somewhere and buy anything that remotely looks like tortoiseshell, put it in your bag and go back home because you could, well, what it'll be taken from you, and two, you might well be prosecuted. So you've got to be so incredibly careful. But remember, it's not illegal to own the stuff. So if somebody gave you a gift, an inherited gift of some sort made out of tortoiseshell, that's fine. Just take care of it. I think destroying it is the wrong thing to do. You can't just destroy history, and I think it's disrespectful to the creature. I think you need to respect it, honour it, cherish it and care for it. And when it comes to caring for tortoiseshell, try and avoid sticking needles in it. I don't mind because it's just a demonstration thing here and you know, I'm never gonna sell it anyway, so it doesn't worry me at all that I've stuck a needle in it. Caring for them, keep them out of direct light. It's a natural product, so it will shrink and it will dry up like furniture wood does. You can buff them, polish them, but don't use any silicon sprays. You might use a lovely wax, like a canoba wax, that would be okay. You can clean it with a very damp cloth, making sure that you wipe it dry immediately, or even just a bit of spit on your finger does a good enough job. Or if you want to oil it up a little bit, maybe 100% olive oil, just give it a little coating. So really, it's pretty bomb-proof stuff, as long as you keep it out of flames and heat, direct sunlight. So there you go, I hope that was useful. Fire away any art antique related questions, keep them coming in. Thanks for watching, I'm David Harper, cheerio.